You know, we've all heard about quiet quitting. It's this new term that's being thrown around with people that aren't interested to do their work or that they're doing remote work and they're not really doing their work because they're not at work. And so they're looking for shortcuts and they're looking to have an easy way out. What I call it is maximum extraction with minimal effort. The problem with this concept is that you're actually being a victim of your reality. And anybody that's trying to cheat their way through life are actually victims of their reality. They don't think that they have the power to do better, find better. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and dodge as much as possible the responsibilities that I have. And the truth is, is that if you're wasting your life away at a job that you think you need to do quiet quitting for, you have to ask yourself a serious question is your life is a one-time process. We've all heard the cliche saying, this is not a rehearsal, this is where we're at. And if you're looking for ways to cheat the system rather than actually becoming the most incredible version of yourself to bring about the most impact for yourself so that you can start to earn more money, have more impact, and just have a better life, you then trying to cheat your way through it, dodge your way through it. I mean, it sounds so ridiculous. When I heard quiet quitting, I just thought people have got the wrong idea. And you know that the real crux here is that people are addicted to drama at work. They're addicted to complaining about work. They're addicted to finding jobs that don't pay them enough because they wanna complain about not having enough money. They wanna complain about bad leadership. It's just such a terrible process to be doing. If you're quiet quitting, do yourself a favor, ask yourself some bigger questions. What are you doing with your life that you think it's okay to be quiet quitting? Come on.